Hello everyone, today I'm going to walk you through one of the most common surgeries in medicine, the cholecystectomy, or the surgical removal of the gallbladder. Before we get into the surgery itself, let's understand why this procedure is sometimes necessary, starting with the problem of gallstones. What exactly are gallstones? Gallstones are small, solid lumps that form inside the gallbladder. The gallbladder is a small, hollow organ located right below the liver. Its main job is to store bile, a digestive fluid that helps the body break down fats in the food we eat. When we eat, the gallbladder releases bile into the small intestine, assisting in digestion. However, when bile builds up or doesn't flow well, hard deposits can form, leading to the development of gallstones. How dangerous are gallstones? In many cases, people with gallstones have no symptoms at all and may only discover them during a routine checkup. However, if a gallstone blocks the bile duct, specifically the cystic duct that connects the gallbladder to the liver, it can cause severe pain. When a stone blocks this duct, bile backs up and can cause inflammation of the gallbladder, leading to a painful condition. If the blockage remains, it can also lead to infections and, in some cases, inflammation of the pancreas. In rare instances, a gallstone may dislodge from the duct on its own. But more often, medical intervention is needed to remove the gallstones or, in some cases, to remove the gallbladder entirely. So, how is a cholecystectomy performed? To remove the gallbladder, doctors typically have two main surgical options. The first approach is traditional open surgery. Here, the surgeon makes a large incision in the abdomen to access and remove the gallbladder directly. This is a more invasive option, with a longer recovery time and generally more discomfort. The second, more common approach today is laparoscopic surgery, or minimally invasive surgery. With laparoscopy, the surgeon only needs to make a few small incisions, using tiny instruments and a small camera to remove the gallbladder. Laparoscopic surgery usually leads to less pain and a quicker recovery compared to open surgery. How does laparoscopic gallbladder removal work? To start the procedure, surgeons set up access points, called ports, in the abdomen. These ports are made through four small incisions around the belly button and near the gallbladder area. The ports act as entry points for the camera and surgical instruments, allowing the surgeon to operate without a large incision. Next comes locating and retracting the gallbladder. Once the ports are in place, the laparoscope, or a tiny surgical camera with a light source, is inserted into one of the ports. The camera provides a clear view of the inside of the abdomen and helps locate the gallbladder. When the gallbladder is in view, the surgeon can insert other instruments through the remaining ports. These tools hold and gently lift the gallbladder so that the bile duct and the artery connected to it are clearly visible, securing the bile duct and artery. At this stage, the surgeon places clips on the bile duct and the artery to seal them off. This step is crucial for a safe operation, as it prevents any bile leakage and minimizes bleeding. Once the duct and artery are securely clipped, the surgeon carefully cuts them to detach the gallbladder. Removing the gallbladder from the body. After detaching the bile duct and artery, the surgeon carefully removes the gallbladder from the body through one of the small incisions. The process is done delicately to avoid damaging any surrounding tissues and to prevent infection. What to expect after surgery? After surgery, patients are monitored for several hours and sometimes even a day or two, depending on their health and the specific type of surgery they underwent. In the first few days after surgery, patients might experience mild pain or discomfort at the incision sites, but this usually lessens over time. Doctors typically recommend a light diet and advise against eating fatty foods initially giving the body time to adjust to functioning without a gallbladder. Most patients can return to their normal activities within a week or two, but it's worth noting that because the gallbladder plays a role in digesting fat, the body may take a while to fully adapt. Some people may initially find it harder to digest rich, fatty foods, but as time passes, most will feel back to normal.